Alright guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be living a full day in the life of Mark Wahlberg which is, put simply, absolutely nuts. I mean, this guy wakes up at 2.30am so this is going to be an uncomfortable challenge but I'm going to put myself through it, working out when he works out, eating when he eats, which looks like a lot of eating. Now, it is the night before, so I'm going to try and get to bed tonight around 7.30, which is when he goes to bed, to give myself the best chance to not be too exhausted. Right now, it is 2.45 in the morning. It's just an ungodly hour. Nobody should be awake at this hour. I can't keep my eyes open. So interestingly, Mark has said that he does not live like this anymore. Getting up at two in the morning? Is this true? Please tell me it's not. It was true for five <laughs> months. It's not true anymore. Which makes perfect sense to me right now. Of course he dropped it. It's literally unhuman to wake up this hour. So watch until the end to see how this makes me feel by the end of the day. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that button. All right. It says he's praying right now. So let's pray. I'm praying that I never have to wake up this early again. As I sat there, I fell asleep. I mean, come on, what do you expect? It's two in the morning. But don't worry, I woke back up because I set another alarm. I'm a genius. How did I know I was going to fall asleep? What does he pray about this early? Almost time for breakfast. Who the hell has breakfast at 3.15 in the morning? <laughs> Mmm, so good. Now I totally understand why he eats food. This is probably going to be about the only comforting thing today. I feel so strange. <sighs> I'm so slow. I can't think. I'm trying to process my thoughts. I'm going to stop talking. All right, 3.45. <clears throat> Workout time. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Embrace the discomfort, Laurie. <sighs> You're going to feel good afterwards. Let's go. I thought it was nuts, and now I have utter certainty that this is nuts. It's freezing outside. It's 3.50 a.m. Mark, you are insane. There's no better way to put that. So, unfortunately, I do not have the benefit of having a gym in my house, like Mark Wahlberg does. So I have to drive to the gym whilst keeping my eyes open. Alright, so I've got no idea what to work out right now, so I'm gonna try and follow along to what Mark Wahlberg does. Five fifteen a.m. Finished my workout. First workout of the day. I've never worked out this early. Feeling good though. And it's still dark outside. Mark Wahlberg is a machine to do this every day. All right, I said just a minute ago that I was feeling good, but on the drive home, it's like a sudden wave of tiredness just hit me. This is going to be a long day. There's so many stars. It's beautiful. It's kind of peaceful at this time of the morning, or the night. I don't even know what you call this time. All right, time for the second meal of the day, and it's only 5.40 a.m. I mean, this guy's nuts. Now, I know Mark Wahlberg probably eats a lot of meat, but since I'm fully plant-based, I've got myself some healthy, nutritious alternatives. Berries, some vegan protein powder, almond milk, a couple bananas, and some superfoods, bready type thing, which is like, almost like Nutella. It's really good. So good. All right, 6 a.m. That means time for a shower. And as I stood there, I fell asleep. No, I'm joking, that's impossible. It's 
6.30 and surprise, surprise, it's still dark outside, but just finished my shower. I'm assuming that Mark does not stay in the shower for one and a half hours, like it would suggest on the daily schedule. Anyhow, his next thing is golf, which I don't do, but I do surf. So I think it's a fair alternative to swap surfing for golf. To be honest, it's actually something really nice about being out when no one else is awake. This is the second time I've left my house and it's still only just getting light, as you can see. And I don't know, it's, there's something really peaceful about it. It's a weirdly, like, nice feeling, actually. It's definitely a cold morning. As much as this wetsuit will keep me nice and warm, it's not the most comfortable thing going into the freezing cold water. But I've done it so many times that I know it's just uncomfortable to begin with. And then once you're in, you get used to it in a few minutes. And then when you ride the waves, oh, it makes it so worth it. As hard as it is to begin with, it's always worth just pushing through that discomfort I reckon just finished the surf and damn I feel good now so it's 8 a.m. which means it's time for my snack comment below what time you think I'm gonna crash today because I've already been up for five and a half hours and it's only 8 a.m. got myself not that you guys care I mean <laughs> whatever but it's a muesli bar and a banana always a banana and what an awesome source of fuel I'm a happy man right now but not for long because it's about to get real cold Ooh. Oh, the infamous bag of ice. I've had an ice bar before and it was way too cold. I made it three degrees. Ah. This time I've only got one bag of ice. Fingers crossed we can get it to the right temperature. Oh. Alright, can you set a timer for 10 minutes? Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Everyone I watch who do ice baths, no one goes fully under. They just, everyone goes to like their waist. <laughs> I'm so peaceful now. Exactly one minute left, sorry. All right, ice bath done and dusted. I'll tell you what, that was so much easier and more enjoyable than three degrees. I searched up to see if I could even possibly do a cryotherapy chamber. There are some in Sydney, but they cost like $100 for three minutes or something ridiculous. I think Mark Wahlberg maybe makes a little bit more money than me. I had to settle for the ice bath. I feel so good right now. Thank you, Mark. All right, Alex, what's on the menu? What's on the menu? For my snack? Bro, you're supposed to make me food. Joking, I actually have got some food on the menu. All right, so I've got myself a few pieces of toast, some avo, I'll tell you something interesting that I was told. When you have toast, apparently, if you flip it upside down and then eat it, the taste sensation is so much stronger. Which makes sense, because we've got the taste buds on the tongue, right? It's almost like overwhelming. 11 a.m., which means it's family time slash work calls. So I'm gonna go to the computer, do some editing, all by myself, I guess. It's really weird, I'm feeling like just chill right now. Super chill, but... <laughs> I know I'm gonna crash. <laughs> this has been such a weird day. So it's one o'clock, which means it's lunchtime. But guess what? I'm not hungry. In the slightest. Not one part of my body says to me, eat food right now. Ah, goodness me. This guy eats like a madman. I've gotta eat. I've gotta follow this schedule and um, do what Mark Wahlberg does. And he eats right now at 1 p.m. having lunch, which just doesn't add up, does it? Because that's the time normal people have lunch. But you're not normal people, Mark Wahlberg. You wake up at 2.30 in the morning. Meal... 45 or something? <laughs> Scrambled tofu with some nuts in there for a bit of um, protein and some veggies and hummus. Hummus with every meal. I know it looks weird, but it's gonna taste delicious. And the important thing is, I think it's full of nutrients. Oh. Two o'clock, more meetings and more work calls time. Damn, this is gonna be a productive day. Mark Wahlberg, you must get so much done with your life. It's now 3.01, which means it's time to pick up the kids from school. <laughs> I don't have kids, but I do have brothers and my brother's at work and he happens to finish at three o'clock. So I'm gonna go pick him up, drive home, and then since I still haven't done my mile run today, I'm doing one mile run every day for 30 days. So I have to do it. I know it's not in the schedule, but I'm gonna incorporate it into picking the kids up from school and um, do a mile run with my brother around the block, which theoretically could be like running the kids home from school. Let's go. We're almost home. Then you can take your school bag off and uh, relax for the day. All right, Pick the kids up from school and we're running home military style. Let's go would be so good if you ran home like this from school every day Imagine how fit you'd be <sighs> Yes, Woo! record smash. All right workout number 60 
full. I want to get like a full body workout today because I've done so much exercise. So I did chest, shoulders, and legs this morning. So I'm going to try and do back and arms this afternoon. Always start my back workouts. Really good roll. <laughs> starting to get tired. 15 hours I've been awake already. It's definitely starting to kick in. I was like lifting the weights going. Oh, oh man. That's like spaghetti. Done. All right, workout two complete. Feeling good. I thought like this has been most productive days in a long time. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I've done so much today. We've just about got a couple more things on Mark Wahlberg's insane, crazy daily routine schedule left. And then I'm so ready to just put my head on the pillow and pass out. All right, so I completely forgot about my snack before my second workout. So I'm gonna have to have it now, then have a shower, and then have dinner. So much food. Anyway, so I got myself a broccoli, a jar of tahini, and I've mixed up a little tahini dip. And I'm no expert in nutrition but I believe that this stuff is full of protein and nutrients and health and goodness. I would never eat this alone, but when you dip it in tahini. Surprisingly, I've kind of got energy, but I'm also aware that if I stay up past 7.30, I'm gonna be absolutely smashed tomorrow, which I don't wanna happen. So, gonna try and stick to the routine and just get to bed and try and sleep. Meal number 200 and 22, I think. Big dinner. Mum cooked me up a huge salad, and I got some rice and some beans. Let's see how long it takes me to finish this. Finally, I've been waiting for this moment all day long. <laughs> No, I'm joking. I'm actually not even that tired. Eh? I don't know why. I guess it's because like my body clock is so designed, designed. Fuck, I use some weird words sometimes. My body clock is probably like so programmed into getting to bed a lot later than 7.30 p.m. And that's why I probably went through these like cycles of like tiredness kicking in from being awake for so long and then kind of a bit of adrenaline rushing in going, nah, it's not bedtime yet. But I'm gonna try and push through that and um, turn the lights off. 7.28. So I've got two minutes left until Mark Wahlberg is asleep. So I've been up already for 16 hours today. It's only 7.30 p.m. Just initial thoughts. The morning went really quickly, like from 2.30 to 4 when I was in the gym. And then after that, from like even like 6.30 when I got to the surf. Like that kind of flew by. And then it kind of felt like a normal day. So, oh, there we go. 7.30. That means I got to be in bed. Bedtime. All right, it is the next morning and I am feeling good. No, I'm actually super sore. <laughs> I think I went a little too hard on uh, yesterday's workout, but feeling good. I actually woke up today at 7.30. So how attainable, sustainable and effective was this routine? Well, attainable, I think, it's actually very attainable. As hard as it was waking up at 2.30, it what happens is I think at that time of the day, your adrenaline just kicks in. But I wonder how much of that would be kind of worn down after you do this routine for six months. I imagine that maybe your body clock would like be reset into always waking up at 2.30 in the morning. Anyways, in that regards, I'd say at least to begin with, it's relatively attainable. And then depending on how much energy levels you naturally have, I think would depend on how sustainable it is throughout the rest of the day if that makes sense. So for me personally, because I feel like in general I'm a pretty energetic person with like super high energy levels, I feel like I actually wasn't that tired. I, I, I went through waves, but for the most part I actually had like a pretty high energy level and I was bouncing around doing my stuff and I felt like I got so much done, which was for me like the main benefit of waking up that early is I managed to get a gym session in, get some breakfast in, get a surf in, go back home and my family was still just waking up, which for me is like awesome. I love having days that start like that. So pretty Pretty attainable, relatively sustainable. The only thing is, I don't know how healthy it is. I would say that for me, it's like naturally as human beings, 2.30 in the morning, we're supposed to be asleep. It's dark outside, which means you're in bed asleep. And if you're not asleep, there is something wrong with you. How effective is the routine? Well, for me, it was pretty effective. I got a lot done. I feel like I'm super productive, but I guess that also depends on uh, your energy levels because some people might just be crashing halfway through the day and therefore it wouldn't be super productive. I take my hat off to you, Mark Wahlberg, for doing that every day for six months. On that note, guys, like the video if you enjoyed it. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because you do not want to miss my next video. Trust me. And I will see you next week.